Hello guys and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved on the island map. In the last episode, the Valentine's Day adventure just started and I went a little bit crazy on the, a couple of things. Well, actually not that bad, come to think of it. I tamed the 180 Rex, the very, very high damage roll. I tamed the very colourful aloe, the uh, pink, red and white one, the Valentine's Day coloration one. And I tamed a 180 Turtle and I think that was it. Come oh, and a bunch of scorpions, of course. And I mentioned how... <laughs> Over the Valentine's Day event, I was going to be breeding a lot. Um, I don't think I've played as much in the last few days as I did since I first started playing the game. I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. But at the same time though, there is that saying guys, time having fun is not time wasted. So, um, and plus to be fair, I did save a lot of time because what I, what I managed to accomplish during uh, the last week, the last few days more like, probably like one of the things which i'll show you guys you know a little bit later on um would have probably taken about i don't know a few weeks a month i'm not entirely sure you can see like a little bit of everything here you know there's a lot of colorful animals you can tell i went absolutely crazy breeding for mutations really really i um <laughs> like i said i went overboard i really get, went overboard but at the same time though i saved a lot of time in the long run so in the end, uh, let's go to the tame zone. So I did tame a couple of new things because with uh, all the breeding, all the rampant, rampant breeding, uh, I actually managed to get a couple of the Valentine's Day uh, cakes, which I wanted to show off at the end of the last episode. Didn't get any then, but managed to get some here. As you can see, I've got 15 here. Uh, this cake, uh, this cake's delicious despite its origins. The island's creatures loves it as it fully heals them or advances their taming. So as the description says, uh, if I force feed the cake to a uh, to any unconscious animal, it will progress their taming by 50% and fully heal them. So as you guys can imagine, for the larger animals like um, uh, like a Therizino, in fact, I personally, as much as I love the Therizino, I hate taming them because they require so much narking. Uh, same as the Giga, in fact, but the Giga I don't find as bad. So if I was to like, give a uh, cake to one of them, it would dramatically reduce you know, the resources, the time taken, the time... You're just standing around waiting for the tour ball to drop so you can carry on knocking it again. <laughs> uh, I'm actually getting about 22 cakes in the end. But as it turns out, this is a bit of a weird thing right now. Officially, officially, as of recording this episode, the event has ended about two or three days ago. But for some reason, the event is still persisting on my server. This is, of course, like a private server. So it's like, it's legit and everything. But <laughs> for some reason, I still had the event running. Now, I think that might be because I've not shut down the server yet. Normally I shut it down every night, but I kept it running one day uh, because, as you guys may have seen in my archive channel, um, I kept the server running one night to try and get as many Rex eggs and as many uh, Argentavis eggs as I could. And, um, you know, so I, I assumed that during the night the event would end and it would be retroactive. I think the event would end on my server as well. No, <laughs> no, no, no. No, uh, what happened instead was the event persisted. It is still persisting now, a couple of days later. And I had an explosion of uh, baby Argentavis. It was very startling. <laughs> I didn't expect it. But uh, what it does mean though is that um, the event's still going on. And as it turns out, the cakes are meant to despawn when the event is over. But because I've saved so many cakes, and like I've just shown you guys, I have 22 cakes left over. Oh, sorry, 15 cakes left over. I kind of want to keep them, at least keep the majority of them, while I can, and try to use those before the server officially ends. Now, it does mean I have uh, reduced breeding still, which is, I guess, a little bit cheaty. But then again, though, I have, like, gotten all the breeding I wanted out of the way, so I'm not really taking the bunch of it. All I'm doing is um, having the eggs, uh, sorry, having the cakes last a little bit longer, which I think is, is fair. At the end of the day, it's my own server. I can do whatever the hell I want, but I am trying to play mostly vanilla, and I don't like cheating. I mean, any of you who know me personally, you know, I, I don't like cheating in games with an extent. <laughs> but moving on, moving on. Saying that, so as you can imagine with the cakes, I went ahead and tamed a couple of things. I finally had a high level Tapajara spawn. I mean, it only took like, what, how long does the season be going on for? <laughs> I finally had one spawn. So I went ahead and tamed uh, that one. It's just a regular. I think it's like 168, I believe a 168 male. So I tamed that. I bred it with um, Jingle Jara, my Christmas Tapo, who was only level 66. And I got some pretty epic, um, 
epic looking tapas out of it. Uh, mainly like this one here, this is probably my favourite one so far. This red and white one here as well, I really adore. Uh, Non-mutated by the way, these are just a combination of the regular tapa and the Christmas tapa. And fortunately I managed to breed them into a higher level. I've got a couple more up here. Now the magenta here actually is a mutation, even though it looks like a Valentine's Day colour. <laughs> so I got these two over here. Um, I kind of mucked up and killed all the high level females. So, uh, whoops. I have these two down here. So that when the event ends, I can hatch up some more eggs and actually imprint them. So I plan on having my own um, imprinted Tapajara. But because of the event, they mature so quickly, I can't get an imprint in. So I'm saving the eggs. Uh, same with a bunch of other ones as well. In fact, I've put these raptor eggs in the wrong place. Um, yeah, any of you guys who are on my Discord, you'll know I have a bit of a plan with the raptors. Yeah, I have about uh, nearly 200 raptor eggs. <laughs> um, you know, I what, what what is excessive, guys? What is excessive? What is moderation? I don't know. So, <laughs> I got those tapajaras. I managed to find another... Um, Another high level turtle. I'm going to breed them two, get an imprinted turtle, and that is my Tuso tank sorted. So I can look into taming a Tuso quite soon. Um, I got a mammoth. It was a high level mammoth I found. I got uh, two high level megatheriums because, again, I have the cake. I'm trying to spend the cake. So I went around in the Arctic looking for high level animals. I found these two. I found this Daedon over here, who I think was 180. I plan on finding another one. That would be perfect for boss battles, since I actually have the Rexes sorted. I'll show you guys that in a moment. <laughs> so I've got that sorted now. I was breeding a lot of Therizinos. Now, despite these colours, like the green and the red look like, looks like Christmas. No, these are actually very heavily mutated Therizinos here. And so I've been having a lot of fun just uh, breeding out new colours. I've, Funnily enough, I've actually um, gotten a yellow backstripe. You can see the green ones there, the uh, two different green coloured stripes. I actually originally had a yellow stripe there, then I got the two two yellow stripes going down like either side, and then I got the uh, red side mutation. So this one, uh, actually these two here. Oh, let me let me move. Male and female, these two here are like a nice combination of all the ones. So again, like I said to the tapajaras, I'm going to uh, get some more eggs of these two and imprint my own ones when the event's over. Uh, what else? What else did we get? I found a lovely 150 Valentine's Day UT. So just a bit better than the other two. Oh, and a bunch of aloes. I'll show you guys that in a moment. Well, you can see it now anyway. I'll explain that in a moment. But uh, yes, a 150 UT. 150 obviously not being the best, but considering how every UT I find happens to be like bloody level 6 or something, I'm quite happy with the 150. And it looks really cool. And so now, moving on to the bigger and the more exciting things. The aloes. So I did mention before how I wanted to try and um, breed a load of aloes because I wanted to see their mutations. Yeah, I'd say it was quite a success. <laughs> In fact, I think I've got uh, three groups of aloes all mixed around. Let me go to the other ones first then, which are next to those lovely rexes there. I'll show you guys that in a moment. So in a previous episode, we had tamed this wonderfully colourful one here, which I really, really enjoy. Uh, this one then produced this one here, the... Uh, Pink, grey, and white one. I also got a blue mutation. Oh, that one, um, that one kind of mixed in with minty, so you can see like it's a very nice lighter blue coloured aloe. So if we go back over here. I did originally have everything all nice and lined up, then a bloody diplo came over and moved everything around, so I've just clubbed everything to everything together. Uh, so you got this one here, who has a green mutated back with uh, again minty's colours and the uh, black underbelly of a different one. We have. This one, which I absolutely adore, originally very low level, but I kept on getting higher ones. So I purged the low level ones, kept the highest one I got. This one called Deadfall, which uh, probably one of my favourite ones. This uh, blue one over here, another one of my favourites. You can see I'm getting a lot of um, a lot of very heavily black ones, which I quite like. I it kind of reminds me of the Power Rangers for some reason. Now I know that's uh, not right, but I don't know <laughs> the way it's just got like a uh, pure black bodies with um, the colourful. The colourful features. Such as, you know, like Deadpool here. Got this orange one here, which is the exact same as Deadpool, just orange instead. And like I said, except for the red. The red and the pink are the only things that aren't mutated. Everything else is. So the orange, the blue, the green, they're all mutated. And I had a lot of fun, guys. I really had a lot of fun checking out all these uh, different... Uh, the different colorations of the UTs. Not the UTs, sorry, the uh, aloes. I think I have one more in the back here. 
Uh, I've got these two. I got a fudge and I get another, <laughs> another uh, Deadpool al um, allosaur, a female version, in fact. Cool. And then, guys, the last one, the Rexes. In fact, I have two for the Rexes. So, as you guys saw in the last episode, I had two packs. I had two groups. I ended up purging nearly everything. But in the first group, I had mutations, just going for colours. And uh, this is my majestic line of uh, mutated, coloured mutated uh, rectus. I, ha I have to emphasize that because I keep forgetting myself. These are the coloured ones. Like I said, they were originally all nicely lined up and then Diplo came over and ruined it all. <laughs> but as you guys can see here, uh, this one's a bit hard to see actually. She's got a purple underbelly, or he, sorry, has a purple underbelly, which is pretty cool. Uh, this one here, this uh, blue one, is the epic combination of several different... Um, Several different mutations I got, which is like the the dark blue. It's more like a dark cyan, come to think of it. Like it's not navy. It's like a darker teal. I'm not sure, but you can see that on the body there. Plus the cyan underbelly. I combine those two mutations into a relatively dark rex. So it's got the the black uh, the black scales on the top, on the black ridge, and the blacker uh, markings. And overall, I I absolutely adore it. I this is probably one of my favourite ones. This one here, a red underbelly mutation, which happened to mix with a r rather red volcanic looking rex again really really cool we've got the magenta one over here which we've seen in the last episode and the green one these two are from that uh, rex breeding episode speaking of which uh you know how earlier on i was showing that clip of um, all of the argentavis that kind of exploded uh the rex has kind of exploded as well and among that explosion i actually got uh, this magenta crested one here so i'm trying to breed that one with the other magenta one there that way um what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to combine a lot of these mutations so that I overall have less Rexes because at the moment I have too many Rexes and I'm about to have a lot more. So that's going to be the plan. I'm going to combine them to probably some other ones. Speaking of uh, other ones, I got this lighter green one here. Uh, you, you're another purple underbelly. So that's probably a lot more visible com compared to the darker one. So yes, yeah, so I got this uh, really nice lighter green variation. And then in the back over here, I got uh, this a uh, lighter pink one, not quite the same magenta as the other one, but it's like a nice lighter pink, pink lighter red. I might com combine that with the uh, the dark red underbelly. I got an orange one here, which is kind of hard to see because the lighting is uh, pretty crappy. I mean, you can kind of see it there. It's like a lighter orange. And this one over here, which was a uh, navy blue crest, or no, more like a pure blue crest, and a pinkish top. Like a pinky top one. Again, that was like two mutations there that I've managed to combine into one Rex. That way I have one Rex instead of two. Whew, so that's all the colour ones. And uh, speaking of the colour ones, you guys saw that lovely blue one. During that uh, explosion of uh, baby Rexes, some of them, one of them actually did mature and wander off. I'm not sure where he is now, actually. Huh. I don't know where he's gone. But um, just so you guys are aware, I do have a wild, a high level black and blue rex that's just kind of wandering around. It looks so cool. Really intimidating having that great big black and rex, uh, black and blue rex just wander around. I decided to keep him. Oh, wait. I hear a stomping. Oh, that's a car now. Never mind. Ah, uh, I can't see where he's gone. Damn it. But you, you guys are probably going to. Oh, wait. I see him. <laughs> This is one of the unclaimed babies that grew up and actually managed to eat, so it's not dying. And like, as you can see, it doesn't, it's not aggressive at all, but he will defend himself. If I attack him, he will attack me. And I've decided to just, just let him go, you know, just wander on, my sweet child, wander on. Looking absolutely majestic and just so daunting. <laughs> I love it, just a nice little bonus to have in the background, eh? Right, and then for the grand finale, guys, the grand finale. This is something that I'm really proud of, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tease it up a little bit, okay? I'm gonna tease it up. I'm gonna show you guys some comparisons. Now, let's go ahead and find Rusty, or any other of our um, established Rexes. Where is he? Now, I'm, not, I'm aware that, uh, oh, hello. Okay, I'm aware I've been rambling on for a very long time, but let's face it, this episode is all about showing off what I've uh, done <laughs> during the event. Okay, Rusty. Rusty also our very first Rex, uh, 150 I believe, with quite a lot of XP, quite a lot of melee damage. There is our stats right there in fact. Keep this in mind. 15k HP, 588% melee damage. How much damage does he actually do? Let's go buy to Parasaur. Uh, am I mate boosted? I am not. Okay. 
364 damage. Keep that in mind. 364. I am going to grab my next Rex. Which, uh, while I was mass breeding the hell out of the Rexes, I was, seriously guys, it was a little bit crazy. And I will be cleaning up the base again soon. Over here we have Imprint Test. Which was uh, one of the Rexes that, while I was breeding, Kevin told me, grab this one, imprint it, see what happens. So, he was originally level 294, so 294 hatchling. One of the highest I've ever, ever had in this game in terms of any animal. I think it prior to this, my highest, um, my highest baby I've ever had is 284. The Anki's over here. Maybe 285, if I remember correctly, with a, uh, with Thyla Kaleos on another map. I did have Thyla Kaleos that were either 285 or 290, I can't remember. But either way. So we think, we're saying about 290, these are the highest level hatchings I've ever had, highest level babes I've ever had. Imprint Test, over here. Who is, uh, getting stuck on the Night in Kalasaur. He's currently 347, so that about, about 50 levels with uh, 8,000 XP. He has 16,000 HP and 13,000. Oh, hold on, that's actually really close to uh, 137. <laughs> Maybe I should get one more level on this. But anyway, 1300% uh, melee damage. Let's go ahead and see what Imprint Test can do. Daedon, get off me, you're in the way. Please, get off me. There you go. Right then. Let's find something to chew on. Let's go get, uh, go to one of these Fiomias here. Now, am I mate boosted? I am not mate boosted. Come on, let me get a bite. So be Fiomia. Actually, are you mate boosted? I was going to skew it. 1400 melee damage. Or oh, 1400 damage done. Yeah, that's, um, I don't know about you guys, like, I've never really been that big into Rexes, nor have I spent the time to breed a, lot, a bunch, like, breed anything good. That is the highest I personally have ever seen. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I got really carried away during this event, but what I've accomplished here will save me about a month's worth of work. So that is Imprint Test 294 Base. After that giant explosion of Rexes, I managed to get some really insane mutations and I combined them all together into this pair over here. Level 309 base Rexes. These are the stats here, non-imprinted. It's just a typical grown-up Rex. 9k health, 2.1k stamina, 1k weight, 472% melee damage. This unleveled Rex, untouched, unimprinted, unleveled. Almost has the same melee damage as Rusty, our very, very first Rex who was base 150. This is base 309. I have no idea how good their hatchlings are. In fact, I can never breed another one. So guys, shall we go ahead and see what a imprinted 309 Rex is like? Because this is going to be my Rex army for doing the bosses with. Now, <laughs> like I said, this is the first I've ever done anything like this. So maybe on um maybe people on official have done better. They probably have. It's probably taken them years to do it. But maybe uh better out there exists. I don't know. But for myself, this is the first time I've ever gone this crazy into breeding. In fact, to give you guys an example, spreadsheet that I was using meanwhile. Um which probably doesn't make much sense to you guys, it makes all the sense to me. All the different very uh all the different stats. All the different parents, which then culminated into like this lot here, which culminated into this one right here, the male, which I managed to get a female version of quite quickly. I went really, really over the top, but I am so happy with what came out of it. Prior to this, uh, Kevin and I thought that the highest hatchling we could get on our on our server, 180 rates, we thought the highest that we can get would be um, 290. 309 is a little bit higher than that. So then, shall we hatch one? Because I actually need to hatch a whole load of them. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, one other thing that I have actually forgotten to mention during all of this is, um, you know, Valentine's Day creatures and everything. I did find a Valentine's Day Rex. I did, oh, Rex uh, Giga. I did find a pink and white Giga. <sighs> um, again, if you see my archive channel, you'd be aware of this. It glitched and fell through the world. I was, I wasn't angry. I was just really, really disappointed. <laughs> I've been trying to get another one to spawn. I've been 
keep on killing every Giga that I find and they are spawning extraordinarily slowly. I actually think my spawn rates might be bugged right now. I think I might have a, um, a Giga somewhere that's stuck or is hidden. I'm not sure because I've, I've never seen more than one since I've done the Dino Wipe. And normally you're meant to have around two Gigas, you know, on the map at the same time. So what I might actually do is do another Dino Wipe. And uh, while, the, while the event is still running and I actually still have a chance because I did get a V-Day Giga, I might do another Dino Wipe and try, try, get that next one to spawn. At least until, you know, I run out of cakes and, you know, <laughs> stop taking a mick with the, <laughs> with the events. Okay, back to the eggs. Now, this is the first batch. This is going to be the first eggs I've hatched from that pair. So for all I know, for all I know, they might mutate even further. I don't know. But there's one of them. And doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous? I actually managed to get the majority of the blue into it. I didn't get the, um, I didn't get the cyan underbelly. But I actually really like the orange. And I keep forgetting this. That purple there is another mutation. So there you go. That is the stats of the baby. It is, uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, like I said, I, I'm just so, so happy that these came out. Right, gonna put one there. In fact, I'm just gonna hatch them all over the place because I've got all the turrets posted up, so they're gonna deal with them, the majority of it. And uh, I can't put them all on my base because they're gonna be too big. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead then, hatch up all these eggs. <laughs> gonna go ahead and imprint them and see what we get. Oh man, I'm so excited to see how big and how scary this is gonna be. 309. I suspect that these are all going to be 309. Um, I can't see them mutating any further. Let me let me check actually. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, 58 random mutations. Yeah, they're not gonna mutate anymore. So guys, I'm gonna bring you into the next uh, to the imprint. All right, so our very first imprint is going to be. I don't know. Uh, don't be dimensional kibble. And I can't bloody see it. Of course. All right. What about you? No, you. Okay. We'll do that one in a moment. The very first imprint is going to be, hopefully not Dimension on Kibble, hopefully not a walk, and, oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, well, fortunately it will follow, uh, it will imprint just from uh, me running on this. Come on, please be a quick one. I really bloody hate walks. Don't, don't get stuck on the imprint test. There we go. 100, okay, yeah, so to confirm the event is still indeed active. Let's see. Oh god, you are bloody. <laughs> How much health did you just gain? 15k base. And those other stats are not updated. They will not update until this creature is fully grown and I give it a level. So, look at that HP pool for a hatchling or for an adolescent. Right then, <laughs> I'm going to finish imprinting and I'll bring you guys back to whichever grown up we decide to play with. Why, Ark? Why does this keep on bloody happening? What is with Diplos getting into this trap? I don't get it. This is like, what, the fifth time? For God's sake, what, what level are you anyway? Like, why? <sighs> why are my turrets going for it? I'm pretty sure I've got turrets to target Diplos. Oh, <clears throat> this is why I hate Diplos. They're the worst bloody things. Oh. Great. <laughs> oh my god, look at that pink iguanodon. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, admittedly, it is the next day. Um, even though the Rex is imprinted very quickly, or I uh, grew up very quickly, I wasn't able to record for the rest of the day, so they do have some uh, passive XP. But overall, though, here they, here they all are. I have just spotted two Alpha Raptors that have spawned, so I am trying to be a little bit quick. But that is our Rex army right there. Look at that gorgeous army of 309 base level Rexes. Now I can't wait to spend some time and um, I am actually going to try and level all of them. I'm not going to go hardcore on it, it's just whenever I go out on an excursion or whatever, I think I'm just going to like take a different Rex every time. But there is of course a matter of naming them. So, uh, let me get some males. So we have, okay, here's one here. Now this is a name that I promised to do for a very long time. This will probably end up being my main one. I am going to call this one Akun Reach. Now, for any of you wondering, Akun is um is one of my largest Patreons, but especially he is the guy that is the person that bought me ZBrush Core, and as you guys have seen, I have a lot of fun with ZBrush, and you know, I can't thank the bloke enough. I always said I was gonna name a good Rex after him. I think this is a pretty damn good Rex. So ladies and gentlemen, here is Akun. Uh, again, man, I can't thank you enough, as you know. And, of course, I've not forgotten this one before anyone asks me. 
Uh, let's find another male. There you go. I mean, they're all the same, so I can just choose whichever one. Uh, yeah, there we go. And this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bionic costume on him. And now we have Grimlock. Uh, we also have Crimlock, you know, the Giga, which is uh, meant to be like a play on words of Crimbo, Christmas, and Grimlock. But we now have a Rex called Grimlock too. Now for the rest of the Rexes, I was, um, well actually, let me put the bird away. For the rest of the Rexes, I was originally planning on uh, calling them after uh, various raiders that I've played with throughout my years in Modern Warcraft, like a lot of my uh, closest friends. So I wanted to do that immediately, but seeing the alphas, I kind of want to go for them immediately because if my turrets start hitting them, they're going to be aggro, they're going to do damage, etc, etc. I'd rather get an XP on uh, a coon quickly. In fact, is that a third one? There might actually be three alpha raptors. Um, alphas do spawn fairly, you know, like fairly common around here, so... Yeah, let me just quickly put you away then. Put Sinestra away. Now, if I remember correctly, we tested all the damage numbers of the various records beforehand. Uh, Akun, no, Rusty was doing about 450. Uh, Imprint Test was doing about 1400. So 1400. And this one, okay, so these are the updated stats. So it's got 15k HP, 2.1k stamina, 1600 weight, 751 melee. Now it has uh, levels I can apply. But let's just go ahead then and kill this one Rex, that way we can see, you know, it's uh, full damage potential. It might be skewed because of the female over there, in fact, let me come over here. Okay, you are you are not to make boosters. So this is the legitimate uh, damage numbers of a newly hatched Rex. Oh, 605. Okay, that's pretty crazy. I have no idea what level the uh, Raptor is, by the way, so I'm just going for it. Uh, there are definitely three Alpha Raptors, so what a, what a lovely way to start my day, eh? <laughs> Immediately log in. I've got three Alpha Raptors. I can nom with my uh, brand new Rex. Okay, now this is gonna obviously gonna be a bit slow. 84, not bad. Okay then. So, for the, this is all gonna be part of the Rex. Actually, no, this one will not be in the Rex army. So let's get you up to about, I'd say, 25k HP. There we go, 25k. And let's just chuck the rest of that into damage. All of it's damage. And I plan on having, um, I would love to see this with like a mate boosted pair. In fact, there's a female right there. I can do that in a moment. But let's go ahead and then get this uh, second Alpha Raptor that just happened to spawn. 760, that's pretty damn nice. Uh, come to think of it, I may put a little bit too much HP or levels into HP, but eh, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna get a lot of XP anyway. Is that another one? No, it's just a Hyenodon. Okay then. How many levels will I get from that? Level 3. It would be really handy if there was a uh, XP box nearby, but I think I've used them all in this general vicinity. Okay, and we've got the third Alpha Raptor up here. 791. It's going to take quite a few levels then before it can uh, catch up to imprint test. But I reckon just, uh, you know, flying flying around or running around in the Arctic biome would really, you know, help with that. Okay, there's another one down. Now, I haven't done my daily check and see if it goes spawned yet. I have been killing a lot of Gigas, that is, I'll tell you what guys, it's really bloody exhausting, just um, <laughs> taking ages killing Gigas, but hey, I had the one Valentine's Day one, I really want to see another one, because I've still not turned the server off, so I still have the event active, and I mean, hey, if I can get a new one to respawn after the uh, previous one I had bloody disappeared on me, that'd be lovely, that'd be absolutely lovely. Right then. Going down here then, I remember, I vaguely remember there being like a one or two more Alpha Raptors around. I'm not entirely sure where. <laughs> 821 damage, bloody hell. This is a, this is like a new-ish Rex as well. Well, it is brand new, but obviously with three Alpha kills, it's already got a bunch of levels on him. Um, I'm a little bit nervous going too close to the mountain for obvious reasons. Oh, it's a pack of allos though. Yeah, I probably should have checked first to see if the Alpha, if, uh, to see if the Giga was there. But it, it doesn't seem to be, so far. Right, let's get you lot. Another uh, really cool looking aloe. Yeah, this damage is pretty damn nuts. Okay, and uh, what is that? Wow. Yes, yeah, I think um, Akun could do a bit of healing, couldn't he? <laughs> and I'm already on a thousand percent plus damage, absolutely mental. If I had uh, stuck with 20k HP instead of 25, I think we'd already be doing the same damage that um, Imprint Test was doing. 
In fact, what level am I? Okay, there is another raptor. I am level 344, so I think I've already, in terms of raw numbers, I think I've already out-leveled uh, imprint test. Now I just need to out-damage him. And we've got another raptor right here. So many alphas today, it's lovely. I should do um, dino wipes more often. <laughs> because before the dino wipe, it felt like I wasn't getting very many, and now all of a sudden I've been getting loads of um, alphas again. 84, so that's the same level as the first one that we killed. And did you guys see just how much faster that was? Oh man, I am. Um, I just love these Rexes so much. I really, really do. So where are we then? Uh, okay, I think there's actually another raptor down here that I can remember. As soon as I've been flying around all over the place trying to get like, you know, the new Valentine's Day Giga, I've been able to spot a lot of uh, local uh, alphas. That's a red chally. Uh, I know that there is uh, one or two Carnos in the Arctic biome, or maybe I actually killed those with infant tests, I can't remember. I know it's a couple more. No Rexes, sadly. I've not seen any Alpha Rex since the random one that spawned in my base. That was scary and interesting. Okay, we do indeed have another Raptor. Oh, we've got two more Raptors. My god, yeah. <laughs> the spawns really have like just completely increased. It's, it's amazing, I love it. I wanted to get some levels on a coon. Looks like I'm about to. I already am, technically. Uh, so there's another Alpha over here. Yep, over there. There was originally only one that I could remember on this uh, river path, but apparently there's two now. Oh, you must be a high level trike. 114. Not bad. And you are 60. Okay, another Alpha Rex down, or Alpha Raptor. Now, I think there's the only two around here that I could, well, the only one, technically, that I can remember around here. Uh, oh, wow, this is a much higher level one. Fantastic, you get a lot of XP then. Let's just quickly chuck in our levels then. Okay, only one level. I can still attack meanwhile. <laughs> Doing the, uh, you know, the level up animation and I can just still uh, bite me while 162. Okay, now we're talking. I'm a little bit bloody, but you know what? 11k HP, I'm perfectly fine with a bit of blood. Now, if I remember correctly, and by the way, look at that amazing Dozy now. I'm, I'm debating taming it. I mean, I've got... I, I'm taming too many trophy animals, but that one does look amazing. Anyway, <laughs> um, I've, I know that there's an Alpha Carno somewhere along this area. Uh, there might be an Alpha Raptor as well. Or did I kill the Carno? No, I see the Carno. Good. And I think there is one more Raptor afterwards, and that is as far as I can remember in the local area. Uh, there might be one like down the Redwoods River. Probably a lot more in the, the Arctic region. But these are the ones that I can remember. Now, what do I have? I've got another four levels. Let's just get in range so I can do that. And then start eating. 935. Wow. And XP-wise, we're on 23k. Now, imprint test was on 80k XP. So, uh, yeah. We have a lot of catching up to do, and we are catching up fast in terms of uh, raw damage. Um, oh, why aren't you attacking me? Come back. Don't make me sprint. <laughs> om nom 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 nom. Oh, wow, look at that pink Rex over there. Look at that gorgeous thing. It looks like, just like the uh, pink aloe, but with a white crest. Right, another one more damage. And I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find that Alpha Rex. And if not, I'm going to turn around, make it back home, and test it with the mate boost. Alright, just as my energy ran out, my stamina ran out, there is uh, another Alpha here. Looks like a Raptor that is stuck. Yep, it's a stuck Raptor. Cool then. So, I, I actually ma managed to remember. That's uh, unusual. Wow, that, that went down so damn quick. Okay, I think that is all the Alphas, as far as I can remember. There could be another one over there, but I, I think I think we've had enough. <laughs> I think we've seen enough um, of this Rex killing Alphas. I am definitely going to be taking a Coon and Grimlock into the Arctic at some point and just go crazy on them, um, killing things, get them up a lot of levels and, you know, establish these two as my main Rexes. Right, let's go back to base then and let's just test out and then make boost of damage. All right then, so we are back home. Let's go ahead and, and whistle that Rex over there, Mum, who was uh, the original 180 uh, mother of the, this entire generation. Well, generations. <laughs> right then, so we now we are now mate boosted. Let's see how much damage we do to, I don't know, this Parasaur. Oh, okay. That is a lot. Let's try this trike. God damn. 
Oh my goodness, and your XP again? 27k XP, considering, like, once again, uh, imprint test is on uh, 80,000. So he is severely ahead. I did... Oh, didn't get it that time. Maybe that one was make boosted, actually. Yeah, it probably was. But, uh, yes. Uh, bear in mind that uh, imprint test has 80,000 XP, so he's got a lot of levels on him. I did spend quite a bit of time running around the Arctic, uh, you know, killing things, trying to promote more spawns, and therefore trying to promote the uh, Giga spawn. So... Imprint has had a, you know, it's got a bit of experience on him. But this one, like a, a proper fresh Rex, it really is crazy. And now just imagine, just imagine guys, that entire Rex army all doing about, let's say they're doing mate boosted, a base 1000 damage per Rex. And that's not even taking into account the UT buff, the UT Rannis buff. I'm not even counting that right now, so I don't know how that's going to do, how that's going to be with that. But just imagine all that in a boss arena. Now, I've not seen very many people kill the bosses. I know lots have. I'm saying I've not personally watched them. So I'm not sure like what kind of uh, average numbers we're talking about here in terms of general Rex CPS. But I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like an average of a thousand damage per bite per Rex seems pretty damn insane. <laughs> Man, overall, I'm, I'm just so happy that this came out. And I'm particularly happy with the colour scheme. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to successfully breed it in, but I got quite lucky and got the colour scheme in early. I would have preferred the, um, the cyan underbelly, but to be honest, I do not mind the orange. I think the orange is still pretty damn cool. Like I said, I, su I do still have plans for what I'm calling the Rexes. I settled on this a long, long time ago. I was going to name my, my boss-killing creatures after all the raiders I played with the World of Warcraft, just to say, you know, my own little thing. So uh, the majority of these will already have names. I have not forgotten the Indominus Rex, I've not forgotten that. Um, I'm gonna have to think of a way to get a high level uh, white Rex, uh, pre preferably a female of course. If I, oh, that'd be that'd be the best actually. If I had a high level white Rex that was a female, call it Indominus, then I could ha have her with a coon or with Grimlock all the time. That'd work really well. So that's something I'm gonna do in the future. Um, I've not forgotten that promise. But yeah, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. <laughs> Got a lot done. I know today was a very, probably like a, an exceptionally more rambly episode, but let's face it, I've done a lot during the Valentine's Day uh, event and I wanted to show it all off. So, like I said before, I'm just really happy for what we accomplished. So, <laughs> got another level. Let me see, where are we going to end up then on the episode? 1185% weapon damage, or melee damage. That is pretty damn sweet. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope you look forward to the next one. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.